Après une lutte serrée pleine de rebondissements, où les libéraux ont eu l'avance pendant quelques heures, une fois que les résultats des bureaux de scrutin sont tombés, ce sont les conservateurs qui ont laissé éclater leur joie dans le comté de Brandon Suris. Les conservateurs remportent cette élection partielle avec seulement quelques voix d'avance. C'est un Larry Maguire jubilant qui s'est adressé à ses partisans. Great. Well, thank you all of you. Thanks to everyone here tonight. Uh, you have made this possible. Uh, the citizens of Brandon Suris have spoken and I hear what they've said. And I believe strongly that we have a foundation here. We have now attracted the center of Canada, I guess, to Brandon Suris, if you could say that. And I appreciate all of it. Well, I take the seriousness of the situation, uh, and I've listened to voters all along. Uh, this has certainly been a, uh, you know, a situation where I think we have actually persevered in some of the toughest times of a federal government, and uh, that was reflected by the people's wishes in this election. And I take nothing for granted. Uh, it's a kind of ironic that I worked so hard in the Manitoba legislature against the PST, and it, it didn't help the, our NDP candidate Corey tonight. And he and I actually talked about that at the debate the other night, and. Uh, And I think that that uh, certainly uh, helped boost the Liberal support. The priority of this constituency all along has been infrastructure. Uh, we're based on the exports of grain, oil and livestock in this constituency. And uh, those are key issues as to why people asked me to run in the first place. But purely the Building Canada Fund, $70 billion dollars over 10 years, uh, will be put to good use in this constituency, I hope, because uh, there is a lot of need for some infrastructure rebuilding. Chez les libéraux, on y a cru jusqu'au bout. We have a 55 vote lead. And we now have a 400-vote lead. The lead continues to grow. I think we were at 42.6%. Uh, And now, there's, now, first of all, let's highlight one thing. There's 196. That means there's 14 more polls to come in. And do not give up hope. Because I can tell you, I speak from experience, those last few polls can make a difference. I feel, as everyone that come out from Winnipeg feels, a little guilty that we have to leave. Mais Ralph Dinsdale peut se contenter d'une percée dans une circonscription traditionnellement conservatrice. While things are not looking good at the moment, we sent a message to Mr. Harper and the Conservative government that he can no longer take us for granted. Les électeurs semblent avoir adressé un message quelque peu critique envers le gouvernement à Ottawa. By election is a chance uh, with a lower voter turnout for upsets. It's also a chance for people to send a message uh, to uh, a government to clean up its act and do things better. Do you think that's the message that's being sent tonight? Peut-être. It's, 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 it's a possibility. The, the, uh, The uh, news has been dominated in recent months by uh, the Senate uh, expense issues. Uh, the, the government will be blamed for the handling of those issues. Uh, the majority of the senators directly involved at this point uh, being appointed by the Prime Minister naturally. Ce soir, c'est une élection différente pour le Brandon Sully parce que c'est la première fois que il y a un turnout de 43 ou des libéraux depuis. Euh, je ne sais pas, <rire> pour tellement longtemps, et chose like comme ça, et c'est tellement bon parce que c'est un um, exercice pour la prochaine élection. Corey, in terms of the popular vote, uh, the NDP seems to have dropped in, the, in tonight's election. Do you have any comments on that? Uh, no, I just know that in 2015, things are going to be a little bit back to normal, and we're going to make sure we put forward a strong campaign like we did this time, and uh, hope for the best.